Hey guys, this is all streamed out. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2 with our No Honor playthrough. I've seen you looking at her, Dutch. Who? You know who. Getting too old for you, am I? Okay. And they're fighting again. Usually works with you, isn't it? You're delusional again. Won't even look me in the eye, but you're looking. We're gonna sleep until morning, or at least try. Okay, let's see if there's anything on here we can take right now. I don't think there is. Nope. There is, however, a pamphlet. That's a uh, horse meal. Let's read that so that way we can... Okay, go back and flip, let's put it away, and let's see where we're at, um, yeah, that's okay with the, with the beard, um, we're not going to hang around here too much today. There's a newspaper clipping. Yep, we've already seen that one. Um, let's put that away. That's the one with uh, Sean's dad. Morning, Arthur. Morning. That ambition will see you far. Thanks, Arthur. Just keep a calm head on your shoulders. Okay, Arthur. All right, let's get up on glue. And let's make a little plan for today. Um, so we're going to do both the one with Hosea and with John. We're going to do both of those today. But we're going to start... Um, Progress. There we go. The challenges. So we're going to go to Valentine. We're going to try to knock that out. So let's. Head over here, and that will be inside the saloon. And away we go. I always hate that. It always seems like there's trees, like too many trees, right around our camp here. Um, we don't have a bounty. I think we paid all our bounties off last time. And I remember last time we killed one of the cows and we... We didn't get it to the trapper. I thought we did, uh, but we had apparently dropped it. There's something over here. Let's go ahead and take a little detour. Oh, Would you be able to help me well, of course. 
I could use some assistance gathering herbs for my studies. What are you looking for this time? Uh, you see this purple flower here? This is sage, but I'll need to experiment with more of it before I can be sure of its effects. I found this one with his friends in the woods. I'd check wooded areas for more. Okay, so we need one more. Um, Really, there's no hummingbird sage here. Wow, okay. I'm not seeing any. Maybe over here? Why is there no hummingbird sage? I'm not seeing any plants, really. There might be something wrong with the game. It's a surprise. Okay, that's Indian tobacco, and that's not, okay, yeah. That's not what I need. Maybe something over here. I wouldn't think it would be this far out though.
Okay, what do we have here? More Indian tobacco. That's not what I'm looking for. There we go. We'll pick up some for me too. Did not think it would have been that far away. See what you got for me. Place it on the table here. Let's try this. Hmm. Oh, yes. I feel ready to take on the world. I'll have trouble sleeping tonight. A man could go for days on this. You've had some long ones, I'm sure. Some sage may just be what you need. You have earned something for all your help. This tonic. Okay. This special elixir will set you right. No matter your wrong, is all the power the natural world can offer. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, traveler. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. There's something over there, too. Boy. Let's go ahead and see what that is. Okay, what do we have here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell are you doing here? Get the hell away from here. Okay. Beats. Okay. Go this way. Did not see that wall. Yeah. 
Okay, we're just gonna keep coming down this way. So a little bit of poker in Valentine. We just need to knock somebody out uh, from the poker game. Whoop. Okay, nothing here. Okay, so that's, uh... oil and tar company. Okay, we can just uh, take this in. Take us right to Valentine. here And let's play some poker. It's a full table today. Five three diamonds, uh we'll call. Hello. That new girl got some spring in her step, don't she? I'll check. Okay. <laughs> Pair of sixes. I reckon that's enough. I can smell some fear on you, boy. I'll see you. That looks healthy enough. A four gives us a straight. Ooh. Here. 
just a little. That's a miserly bet from you. Dang it. You know what? No. He was slow playing that one. He had a. Uh, he had two spades. He must have. Okay, nine five off suit. We'll call. There's me. We'll see it for free. Pair of eights, ten high. Okay. Well, at least I didn't really lose anything, right? Well, didn't lose as much as I could have. Ace five off suit. We'll call. Hope this ain't too rich for you. All right, I'll call. Okay, mm. I've got ace high. This here. What you call having a pair? Ah, too rich. Okay. To Not too bad. Hmm. Well, I'll take it. Didn't feel good about that. About uh, calling hell? that. So five eight off suit will call. Next time this one's in a hand. I'm the fella folding. Check. We got a pair of fives. This is starting to get dull. Huh. I don't buy hmm. that at all. I fold. Come on that. Okay. <clears throat> we got one taker. Still a pair of fives. We'll call. I think. No way. You're bluff. Look at that stack. Old Joseph sold up. Hmm. Go all in. He's probably not bluffing. He's got a straight, doesn't he? Wow. Okay. How the hell do you do that? Huh. Come to me. <clears throat> I was not expecting that. I thought he had a I thought he had a straight. All right. Let's play. My luck is turned. That's why you're rich and I'm poor. Okay, he's got 60 cents. Six ten off suit will call the four cents. Check. Okay. Clear. I need to pass. Raise. Okay. How's that look then? So we need a nine. 
Either a nine or another spade. Um, there we go. That's okay. Ace high flush. some fun here now that's some serious coinage there you go don't laugh now yeah! okay look there he won with something spare yes come on <sighs> come on let's keep this up some luck we're still going to be targeting Norman if we can. Not me. Pair of nines. I know. It ain't too exciting. Of course. Okay. That's a call. Might look a little, but it's a lot to me. You gotta tell, boy. Let's go a little you higher. Don't sweat. We all had the fear once. That looks healthy enough to me. Oh, you're fun. They're trying to buy the pot. you. Hmm. How's that look then? That's all? Ooh, real exciting stuff. Keeping things moving. Hmm. I see my train and I'm jumping. Well, on. look at you. There. You've been drinking, huh? Okay, he's out. Got nines and fours. All right, what's he got? Go, Pair of fours. Wow. At the same tea. Have a look at this. Gonna need an awful lot of luck there, friend. Got him. Ah, that's hard to take. Uh, yes. And I think I'm going to stay and I'm going to try to bust out uh bust out Norman if I can. That's me. Until next time. Come on, you got this. Shame your mama ain't here. Ace nine off suit. I'm a play slow. Got a pair of nines. I'll check. Not just a little wager. Damn. Things beginning to look up. Mm-hmm. There we go. Okay. Oh, this is getting too easy. You gonna let someone else win for once? Let's see what we got here. Looks like a pair of jacks. Play slow. I got a full house. Kings over jacks. Forgive me. It's all I can afford. Could have guessed. Come on. I'm play calling. a little. Here, just a little. There we go. There's me. 
That's all? My lord, you're boring. <clears throat> you gotta be kidding me! Good. Wow. All right. Wanted to see how that would end, but uh, yeah. Oh, come on. Got a bad break. Nobody asked you. Pair of kings. Uh, okay. Nah. Check here. Kings and Jacks. All you're getting from me. I'm a play slow. <clears throat> I'm a diamond away from a flush. Y'all watching? Now, don't get scared. You serious? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. I mean, I'm winning. I'm going to stick around. What did I do to deserve this? Taking some real punishment there, friend. Okay, we'll call. Okay. This one's going to cost you. Uh, All right, I'll call. Bluff, I say. Uh, -uh. You got a better hand than you're letting nope. on. Good. Okay. Not just a little wager. He's out. I'll check. I might be being foolhardy, but who cares? I'm gonna fold. We're at least getting some of them down a little bit before they fold, so. You ain't too good at this, is you? I need your Jack Ten off suit. Yep. Letting this one go. Nope. I'm good. Some folks can't help but lose. Partner. Uh. Come on, let's get this going. What the hell? Okay. Ha, this is getting fun now. That's as it should be. Come here. This was good. I'll excuse myself. All right. Until next we play. All right. So the big roller is out. It's just me and the two guys that have under 50 cents. Ten king off suit. Um. Forgive me. All I can afford. What? So why did he? Why did he raise if he was just gonna fold? Yep. They're slowly starting to go away. Yep, Sydney's out. And he's out. Let's go. I'm basically buying the pot at this point. Um somebody just joined. I'm almost getting bored here. Now how in the hell do you keep doing this?
Now, this is finally getting... Bold again? Jeez. I'll check. Okay, we'll bet. He folds. There's still the side. Here we go. Damn. Shit, looks good for you. This is taking the I win and he gets knocked out. Yep, there. Well, this thing just about spat me out. I'm get gone then. Okay. Lewis and Norman are the two now. He's gonna string me up for losing this. Okay, I'll call. Uh, nah. -uh. Are you ever gonna play? I'm great. Not just a little wager. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'll check. Pair of jacks. Actually, jacks and eights. Chancy. You're bluffing. I can smell it a mile off. All in. Yeah. Whoa. Take a look at Jack High Street. Okay. It's uh, pretty pathetic. Now that is That's alright. Oh, good lord. I won. This is shameful. Oh. I never had a chance. Okay. He is out too. Everyone in here. Well, now I'm plumb broke. Okay. Bye. <laughs> All right, we're going to try to get Lewis. I know. It ain't too exciting. I'll do you. Oh. Move. Yeah, I know. Pretty pathetic. Okay, what do we have here? Yeah, that's not bad. He's going to call. He's going to raise. Hello. A nine would do it. A personal attack on Lewis. Air Force. Here, just a little. Raise me on up. What you so scared of? Enjoy your night, my dear. <laughs> Don't know about that one. Well, at least it ain't raining. There you go. Okay, all in or nothing. I'm a see. Well, looky here, friend. That's all I got. Yeah. Okay. He did that for a pair of jacks. Ooh, hey. well, that turned out real good. Okay. 
Okay, I'm not I'm not worried. No. Real shame. Evening. Come on, you got this. Okay, we'll call. I'm good. He's out. Okay, I'll call. This will be our last hand. We're going to leave after this, I think. Not just a little wager. I don't know about that one. I know. It ain't too exciting. This is kind of chancy. Gonna go all in. I reckon. All in. You big old bluffer. Let's do this again, eh? Take a look Queens and threes, okay. Oh, no. And I'll leave. No problem. We did what we had to do here. Okay, um... There's no fish we need to catch up here. There is one down here, though. I don't know why it's not showing. Maybe I just haven't been there. Okay, um... Apparently none up here either. I thought there was. That's fine. Um, we're going to go ahead and do... Yeah, we're going to do the one down here with Hosea. At Braithwaite Manor. I think we're going to take the coat. wish today was over already uh, that's not the coach where is the the coach is up here there we go take a ride we're gonna go to Rhodes
We'll see where that leaves us. Okay, it is morning. Um, can we not? my hat. Let's rent a room. I'd like a room, please. All right. That's this way. There we go. Right in here. Okay, we will sleep for three hours. And then we will go and, uh, See Sean and Hosea at Braithwaite Manor. Looks like it's raining. Come down this way.
Okay. It's odd. Should be here, but they're not. Okay. Let's come down here. Wraithwaite Manor. Mrs. Braithwaite, my associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Okay. Here we go. Ah, please come in, sir. Fine joys of tobacco. Yes, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caligar Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkey. <laughs> all. all right. Hop on. I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm dry. Okay, yeah, I think that's what they want us to take, so. Let's get this over with. Okay, go to Caliga Hall. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. That smug fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yeah. Using that back there. Moonshine? Horns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about I try fitting my boot up your hook now, just snotty out, bitch. Jose <laughs> <laughs> really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving it his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm all for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They really bear me some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. They were on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they've taken on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. All right. <laughs> Whoop. Whoa, hold up a 
second. You not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> I love Sean. There was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies, uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay, they said. Okay, Grab this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink. Sean. <coughs> uh, Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> okay. Uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be burning Just some tobacco here. fields. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Ah, oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. All right, you are. Okay. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable. Eh? Mm. While the average man sups on shut. <clears throat> and he is done. Hold up in here till it gets dark. Okay. How are you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, 
And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. <laughs> we'll burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. Okay. supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. Come on. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Okay, let's do this one first. Go. No! That did not work out. That was... We would have had it if I wouldn't have kicked, uh, if I wouldn't have kicked that. We would have had it. Okay. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools? Payroll? Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll? Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? I'll take care of this fella. Meet me at the barn when you're done. Join them fields up good, all right? Keep your head down.
Come on, turn around. Okay. Right across here. Takes you go, Arthur. Light her up. Oh, come on. Okay. 
Come on. Uh, well, we'll study. Alright, come on, Sean. Okay, where are we going, Sean? Jesus, that's one into a relief party. You call that a party? That brave weight hag got our money's worth, Arlie. Let's just get out of here first. Okay. Little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Oh. Yeah, I'll go. Okay. So their fields are burning. We got 230 some odd dollars for that. Um, you know what? We're not going to sleep. Do we not have? Really? Okay, um... I don't like this... at all. Okay, we're gonna grab... some food.
Okay, Micah needs to talk to me, but that's fine. We're gonna... You know what? We'll sleep until noon. And then we'll talk to Micah and we'll get this one over with. I was going to do the one with John, but that one has disappeared. And we're not going to bother shaving. Okay. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes... I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The Adriscals. I mean... I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the Adjusco boys on the road in the town. Things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a cornered tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. <laughs> Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. He ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. Gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. Long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Mm. As you say, it's a long time ago. Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. <laughs> uh, fine. Mount up then, Morgan. Let's go then. Okay. You know, I've been fighting Comb for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, uh, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had it. Pinkerton's coming after us because of black mm -hmm. and Leviticus Cornwall and his private what army. What are you doing? Then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head? Hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll? There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, oh. on Come on. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den. With you to cover us. Hmm? No 
Okay. Just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. And... As would I. Okay. It pushed me around that rock. Hey, up there. Men on the ridge. Oh, Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. My God. Poor shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too. But it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. All right, cowpoke. You're going to peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Okay. Yeah. Now, come on. There we go. And there they are. And yep, we can't move anything. This is all a cutscene. Been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Hmm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. Very. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. A whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always love the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Move 
and we're captured. got a sense handing them over to the lords i don't know strange times they killed shamans fuck the whole lot of them with this fella column's right we can draw them all back true where'd column and patrick head off to in a town i think to speak to the law that has to be crap it ain't worth the risk he's escaping shoot him go 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 I think that's the furthest away from them I've ever gotten on that. Okay. There he is. Arthur Morgan. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Cole. <laughs> How's Woo? I hardly feel it. You will. <laughs> Septic. Same nice. Now, tell me. Fine gun like you. Uh, Why are you uh, still running around? With old Dutch. Could come right with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. No, no. Uh, it's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Six point guy. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached true. Let me go, Cole. And end all this. Crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sword. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you. Hand you. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. Okay. So now we have to escape. There we go. Okay, we're digging the bullet out. We 
go. We cauterized the wound. We got him. What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. He better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. Um. My things are in here though, aren't they? Oh, they're outside. for the knife. You know what? Let's go for the throwing knife. Or not. Let's just get on here and go. Never made it out like that. I've always had to fight. Okay. Well, now I know how to get out of there proper. Okay. So, gonna ride back to camp. Swanson's gonna set the law on us. Oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now. Okay. Okay. I got you. 
you're safe now. Uh, that's pretty, Tuts. <sighs> that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. All right. I think that was the easiest I've ever done that mission. And then it's going to skip a few weeks. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. How you feeling? Oh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Well, take care of yourself. You too. Okay. Working for us all. I was just shot, hey, Dutch. No money in the box for ages. Come on, son. wow. Best man among us. Don't go weak on me now, please. I've been sort of busy, Dutch. I'll get back to it. Thank you, son. Okay, we don't have any pomade. Um. You know what? Let's, uh... Whatever you say, Reverend, it's all the same with me. You're weak, and you're hiding, and you're being up there in heaven. Don't give two shit. Let's do that. Okay, so, um... There is a... Coach Rubbery with Sean. Let's go ahead and grab that. Yes, later. You know, I never came to America until I was a man. Well, 17. The... Hey, Sean. Hey, what's up, big man? How much? What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing at all. I brought... Oh, hello, Arthur. And what's she doing? <clears throat> She's doing nothing, too. <laughs> what exactly are you planning? Just a little light robbery, Arthur. Nothing a serious fellow like yourself needs to worry about. And you need to get Mary Beth killed as well as yourself? Away with yourself, Arthur Morgan. We'll be getting rich, not killed. <laughs> Besides, Arthur, I'm so bored, I'd rather be shot. If you insist, <laughs> I'm in. We don't want you in. We got this ourselves. I've seen you fight, little feller. You can kill any one of us, but I ain't letting you take her out, Robin, not without an extra gun. But she'd be acting, not fighting. Sounds good. Come on, then. Let's go rob this. What we robbing? Uh, A stagecoach some fella told me about. Oh, wonderful. Come on, you can tell me more on the ride. Where are we heading? Back up north. It's coming down from Valentine. I know a great spot to set up an ambush. 
This one's mine, yep. Okay. them down. Give them some sob story. Yes, of course. Easy enough. We'll be hiding up above. Once they're unawares, I'll put in a few shots to let them know we mean business. Then move in fast and hold them up. Arthur, <laughs> I guess you can watch and give us marks out of ten. Right now, you're out of <laughs> one. Jesus. Can't believe you have to tag along and it's just to keep an eye on the girl. Remember the crap you gave me for turning up at that train job? With Marston and Charles. I'm keeping an eye on you, not her. I know she's solid. <laughs> All right. Very funny. Hey, she's probably robbed more folk than both of us put together. Let's cut up here. It'll be quicker. I wouldn't go quite that far. Mary Beth can pick a pocket faster than you can play, believe me. First time we laid eyes on her. She was being chased by three real angry looking fellers. And we thought, oh, that poor young girl getting picked on like that. But she right. had a bag full of wallets There's and gold watches. There's a spot that should give us a good view of their own happy memories, I'm sure. So will you two write about that in your journals? Can we get back to the matter at hand here? My job that I have brought you both in on. Let's go for the, uh... Springfield. We're ready, Sean. Yes, keep your hair on. Constant shite these English give me. Let's leave the horses here so they're out of sight. I want a rifle with a scope. If you got one, we'll be back a bit from the road. Such a privilege to be instructed by the master himself. This way. See the road down there, Mary Beth? She ain't blind. Come on, you two. This is gonna be fun. All right, Arthur. Me and you will take cover behind that log over there. Okay. You're the boss. There's something in here. Oh. Should be coming from the north any minute. Up, Mary Beth. Well, all right then. You know what you're doing, right? Of course she knows what she's doing. As soon as the shooting starts, get low and get the hell out of there, okay? Of course. We didn't even need to really look for that. It led us right to it. Here it comes. I put in a couple of shots to spook them, like, and then we move in. Are you sure about that? Your eyes ain't what they used to be, old fella. If you say so. There they are. I'm such a feather brain. What's your name, sir? Lawrence. Oh, Lawrence. <laughs> Would you gentlemen possibly give me a ride to the nearest town? This is a banking stage, miss. We can't be picking up passengers. Come on, Harry. Nice young girl like that. <laughs> and I'm sure we can make an exception. I thought you were just gonna throw they seem ready to me.
Oh, got him. So let's head back to camp. It's going to do the one with John today, but we're not going to. We'll do that next time. So just some unexpected... Come on. Oh, that was all of them. Okay. Where are you at? We go. We're right in here, aren't we? Hey, who's there? And here we are. Okay. So we are done. Let's go ahead and sit down. Let's actually head down to the dock. And I want to thank everyone for watching. My name is AllStreamThat. Hit the like button if you like this type of content. It lets me know that you like this particular type of content and would like to see more. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications to be notified every time I post a video. And follow me on Twitter, Discord, and uh, my other channel. The links will be in the description below. Have a wonderful day.